Emergency comms. 14th floor. Should have taken the elevator. After what just happened? I don't think so. So, what exactly are you going to say to make them reinitialize Virgil? How inconsolable. Hi, I'm cute. Break the law for me. That's not funny. I'm just saying. Works on me. Still no covenant activity outside the city limits. I need a big shape. I've got three more evac points at 200% capacity. Somebody answer that damn phone. Where's the duty officer? Big desk. At the back. Thanks. Any of the ferries no still running? Get everyone out. Oh. Of another ride starting down at everyone. Well, you'll just have to go down there yourself. As I've been trying to tell you, Captain, I don't have the authority to override. What do you mean, gross misconduct? Captain Dare, I assure you, people are dying down here. Excuse me? Yes, of course, I could turn the superintendent back on, but Commissioner Kinsler gave me explicit instructions. You're busy, so I'm just going to borrow this stick. Listen, Captain, there's a Covenant carrier hovering right outside my window. There's a sniper in my lobby, and you're threatening to have me fired? <laughs> Office of Naval Intelligence. Now there's a contradiction in terms. Oh, what do you want? I need you to turn the... the superintendent back on. Not you, too. I am telling all of you, the commissioner... I know, but I'm making you do it. At gunpoint. What gun? This one. You're holding my stapler inside your pocket and pointing it at me. You don't know that. It might be a gun. Or a rifle. Or a rocket launcher. And if it was... Why, you would have to turn the superintendent back on. Nobody could blame you. Or fire you if it was a gun. Oh, no. Please, don't shoot. I'll do anything. It's OK, Virgil. I'm here. He sounds different. Virgil, what have those aliens done to you? <laughs>
Sadie, what's going on? I don't know. Those aliens have been working on Virgil, and now that he's back on, he sounds... Different. Virgil? It's still you, isn't it? Can you get Dad for me? Virgil can't reach him. Something's wrong. Reports are coming in from all over the city. Covenant forces are pulling back in the face of furious resistance. Man, have I had it with his crap. Our enemies are cowards. Battle on, brave citizens, and victory will be ours. Hang on. That's coming from inside the building. Mike, wait! Where are you going? This hour, we pay tribute to our fallen heroes. Jim Odingo, Roberto Bustamante, and Marshall Glick. This is his office. Public Service Announcements Division. These officers were gunned down in the very lobby of this building by Covenant snipers. But moments ago, members of our citizen militia wiped out the sniper nest with a homemade flamethrower made from nothing more than an old leaf blower and a can of gasoline. Keep fighting, Mombasa. Fight, and we will win. Off the air. Covenant sniper nest? Those people were massacred by a crazy ex-cop. Hell, one of those people was the crazy ex-cop. And your point is? People are dying out there, and you're feeding them this... this garbage? None of it is true! Yes. Well, some days, truth isn't really a luxury we can afford. Come on, Mike. He's a propaganda officer. He's just doing his job. His job? <laughs> More like lying to people for a living. Do you know who is still listening to my announcements? An old woman, too weak to leave her bed. A man bleeding in the street. A teacher hiding with her students in a school basement. They're all going to die. Maybe, maybe not. The Marines will be here soon. They are all going to die. My job is to fill the time before they die with truth, with hope. But maybe you can do better. On the air. A special honor to Mombasa. I have here in studio Uprising Commander Harris Two-Shot Kibaki. Commander, tell our listeners the latest news from the city center. Commander, go ahead. Speak the truth. Well... Things aren't as good as they could be, but they're looking up. We're... we're fighting hard. Good to hear it. Any words of advice, Two-Shot? Just keep fighting. And we can win this battle if we stick together. We can save the city. We can win this war. Off the air. Now you are also a hero. You are, you know. I feel sick. No. What you feel is hope. Ah, see? You already have an admirer. Go ahead. You're on the line with Harris Two-Shot Kibaki. That was truly inspiring, Officer Brantley. Sadie must be very impressed. Kinsler. But I think she'll be much more interested in this. Sadie, I now control the firefighting systems in your father's lab. If you want to see him alive again, you'll do exactly as I say.
Kinsler told me to meet him at the train station. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, Sadie. You can't trust him. You know that. My father's still in Virgil's data center. I've been listening to your dad all day. And the one thing he wouldn't want you to do? Put yourself in even more danger by... You're not listening at all. Kinsler said he'd trigger the emergency fire response. And that will... Flood the data center with argon. Can people breathe argon? No, Mike. It freezes you. Dead. Look, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Virgil, are you there? I know that look. What's your plan? Escalation. Maybe Dad was right. The tentacle aliens he found, I think they are helping Virgil, bringing him back from the dead. But why would they do that? Dad said they were looking for something, something Virgil found. Keep it clean. Leave all luggage on platforms. Maybe they're sick of fighting, just like us. I don't know. Dad would know the answer. Then ask him when we see him, okay? Okay. Now, where are you supposed to meet the Commissioner? Platform 9. He's got a private train. I still think you should let if me... If I don't come alone, my dad will die. Kinsler made that clear. You and Virgil know what you have to do? Yeah. Oh, out of my way! Oh, the Covenant are closing in. People are panicking. This is going to get ugly. This day is a nightmare. It all keeps getting worse. Everything's falling apart. Not everything. Listen. I know I'm just a girl who got you fired. You're more than that. I might also be the girl who gets you killed. Maybe, but not today. Mike, I want you to live. I need you to live. For me.
Over. Proceed with caution. Platform 9. Deus Kinsler's private train. Guarded by corrupt cops with machine guns. I'm going in. My father's life is on the line. Be careful. You too. What? Wait your turn! Excuse me! Sorry. Coming through! Get away from the train, you hear me? Everyone back off. Steady, officer. Not yet. I can't hold the crowd back much longer, sir. Kinsler! You won't have to. My passenger has arrived. This way, Sadie. Push right on through. Make some room. Let us through. Objections! Why? Careful, Sadie. Watch your step. You ever worry there might really be a hell? Oh, I know there is, my dear. And you and I are leaving it. Officer, close the doors. Button up, men. We're out of here. I don't want any of that on board. Yes, sir. You can't just kill them. Why not? I'm getting quite good at it. For instance, I killed your father an hour ago. Can you take us there? Affirmative. Affirmative. 